Hi guys, welcome to the video. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and welcome to this second instalment of my new series which is 10 minute tutorials and obviously as the name suggests the aim is to cover a particular topic or subject uh, within 10 minutes or so for uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 or 2024 uh, X-Plane 12 and potentially also depending on how we get on DCS uh, and or uh, BMS. Um, but the previous video I covered uh, creating a flight planner using the new Microsoft Flight Planner and bringing it across into the sim and importing it for particular aircraft. Now the thing is that not all of the aircraft can use that system because um, some of them, for example the Inni builds, and it was a question asked to me on the video, does this work with the Inni builds? Um, and it doesn't. You can't import from the Flight Planner into Inni builds. It just doesn't work. The, the system in the flight management system is too complex. So there's quite a few aircraft in the sim that have been created by Anybuilds or other companies where it can't utilise that basic flight planner. It's great for GA, not so great for other stuff. So let me just load this up in the background um, and we'll have a look at the options. So as I say, the EFB isn't really of any use to us because it's the same underlying flight planning thing. So if I click find, if I, no, I can't be bothered because it doesn't work. There's no point demonstrating something that doesn't work. But what we will do is we'll go from Southampton, we'll go to uh, Edinburgh, so uh, EGPH, um, boom, there we go. And we're not going to go off the runway because I don't want to start with the engines running um, just for this. So we're just going to scroll all the way down and then choose a ramp stand, set as departure, and then load, in, load that in whilst we're talking about the other stuff. Okay, so let's come and talk about flight planning. So there's basically three flight planners within the uh, flight system. There's the electronic flight bag which has been around for a while now which is no use for this. Uh, this is the new flight planner which again is no use. The, for example if I go here and I go Airbus A321 which is what we're using for this and I go route um, and I'm going to put the route in for a couple of steps of it. So Southampton to uh, Edinburgh the issue you've got is it doesn't tell you anything about how much fuel to put in your aircraft. It's got no fuel planning in it at the moment that I can figure out. So that is absolutely useless really. Um, it does however have the knee board and you can see it starts to populate some information here. However, we need our route. So Simbrief is the tool that I use, completely free. Um, it's uh, It was taken over by a company called Navigraph who do payware charts etc. But this part of it is free. Um, it's an excellent thing, I've used it for years. So you load simbrief.com, download it, uh, well you don't download it, it's a web page, um, go onto new flight and you'll see there's four red boxes. We're going to fill the data in for these four red boxes. So we said we're going from um, Southampton, so you can see I've previously used these uh, information which is why it's pre-populating, to Edinburgh, um, aircraft type, we need to tell it what aircraft we're in. Uh, we're in the A321neo, the sim uh, A321 is a neo, so we need this one here, 21N, A321N for neo, click on that. You'll know it's correct because when you come to the variant or airframes, click on that and it gives you the option for the Innibuild A321LR Leap 1A, which is the neo. Having done one, two, three and four, you then click on generate flight, it will come up with a flight. Now hopefully it's not going to come up with one that's too heavy for Southampton, because it did the other day. Um, what's it come up with as our weight? Uh, estimated takeoff weight, that's going to be too heavy I guess. Um, so let's do it again. Uh, edit flight. and generate flight, see what it comes up with this time. It's pretty random, so... But it came up with one that was too heavy for the... Uh, we'll, we'll just go with it, it's coming back with the same figures. We'll see if it, if it works, if it doesn't then fine. But anyway, having got that, we can have a look down here for the flight plan. And we're taking off runway 20, so where it's got the slash 20, that's runway 20. We're landing runway 06, so slash 06 is runway 06. There's no guidance in terms of uh, the takeoff route. We're going direct to Norrie, but in the landing, you'll see this five letter thing here in PIP, or six letter, sorry, in PIP 1 Echo. That is our arrival. So when we come back over here, 
you can see we haven't got it in but if we come to root and come down here for the approach auto select the approach that's fine auto select the root and we want the input one echo which it's got if it didn't have the input one echo we could remove that and we could change it so it does have it fortunately what that means is when we go back to kneeboard we now have the maps for things like the input one echo which is absolutely fantastic so although we can't plan with this we can at least get the charts up the only thing i've noticed is it does not have an approach chart for um uh edinburgh but yeah you can't have everything i suppose so get rid of that load into this and we're going to go through this quite quickly um, because it's not a tutorial in terms of anything other than really the uh, the actual system for getting your flight plans in so batteries one and two external power on switch that to that to that to that so that's all you have systems loading coming down here clear 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 in fact we want the FMGC and then coming down here so this is a flight management system tablet so this tablet is more advanced that's what than what's in the uh, tablet default with the sim this is why you can't use that information this needs more information however we've got our sim brief set up so we can come up here on the top right we can click sim brief and it will load in the information which is great we can check it's got the operational flight plan we're not worried about that we're not going to change any ground details because we're not taking off at the moment payload we can then go sim brief give me the payload and it will load the payload there we go it's gone green apply the load i want it instant because i'm uh i i don't like to wait I'll apply the load 76310 i reckon that's going to be too heavy for this airfield um, so runway zero two surface sync the weather then what did we say it was 76.3 76.3 calculate and there we go we've got our figures so at this point I'm now going to go back to the flight management system it's loaded its page up all we're going to do is go to initialization it's got the init request here press that button it's got init request it's now loaded the information for that the route is uploaded if I check it I can go to flight plan and we can see our flight plan a quick note whilst we're here anytime you are away from the start of the flight plan anytime you do that if you click flight plan it automatically takes you to the top the white line is at the bottom is always going to be there it doesn't matter what I do with this so if I scroll this you'll see it's there that's the destination any point you want the destination just click on the line select key we can now just quickly put in our arrival which was an ILS at 06 via the inpip one echo insert that and you can see we've got all of our route in happy days right at this point I'm just going to go back to the uh, init and I'm going to skip one page to the right now you can see it's got uh, the little arrows up here skip one page to the right zero fuel weight zero fuel weight CFG and that's a couple of bits of information we need off here so the zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight CFG so the zero fuel weight is down here ZFW which is 70.8 and the CFG down here zero fuel weight CFG is 30.2 70.8 and 30.2 70.8 slash 30.2 zero fuel weight C zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight CFG pop them in there it will then say fuel planning click the fuel planning it comes up with all the various things that it needs to worry about and then confirm the block fuel fine so that's all done what we can do at this point we can now go to perf in fact what we need to do before that is we come over here zip all the way down here come to takeoff we've got all the takeoff stuff here send to fmgs flight management guidance system come back here and you can see now we've got these cyan numbers here confirm takeoff data takeoff data uplink and that's pretty much it that's getting the data from the flight management planning uh, so we've taken the data from here we've used it to get these charts as well and then from there we've stuck it in here and then stuck it in here and that's it that's pretty much all you need to know 
So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you found it useful, please don't forget to tick like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.